Hello. Hey there. Uh, I thought I would talk today, do one of my, my one of my, my um, pen rambling, talking, musing videos. And um, I thought what I would talk about today is a question that I, I actually receive a number of times a year. And it's, 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 it, it comes down to this. How do you use your pens? What do you use them for? Well, the simplest answer is this. I use my pens to write with. Okay, nice. See you next time. Okay, now, um, and, 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 and I'm, not, I'm not trying to be flippant. The real question is, what, what do you write with your pens? In what context do you use them? Because there's a lot of people who then ask me something like, I, 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 I write grocery lists and, 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 and I, I, just, I just don't know what else to write. I have all these pens. I don't know what to use them for. So I thought that what I would do today is just talk through a little bit how I use my pens. And, um, and maybe that will give you some ideas. I think the most important and shortest answer to this, because you know there's going to be another long ramble coming, um, the shortest answer is I use them for everything. It's that simple. I use them for everything. If I need to write something, I use a fountain pen, right? And that can indeed be a grocery list. Um, th th and I'm serious. I, I write grocery lists with fountain pens. Why? Because that's how I can use my pen, isn't it? So I do that. Other things I, I use my pens for is I use them at work. I have a four pen case, and I forgot to take it out, but if, if you're a regular, you know what pen case I'm talking about. Van der Speck, Dutch company made it, leather pen case, four pens in it. That's it, four pens. I take those four pens to work and I, I write with them. Now, what do I write? Well, that depends, I mean, my work, right? My work is not your work necessarily, but I mean, at work, I, do, I write different things. First of all, um, I teach, right? So I, I teach, I teach psychology. So there was a time I would write lecture notes um, by hand first, just because that takes a lot of time because then I have to end up in PowerPoint. I now do it directly into PowerPoint. But as I create those slides, I take notes for slide seven, also add that it was the pre-optic area that's different in males and females or something like you know these kind of, I was just I was just working on a course on, on cognitive neuroscience so that kind of stuff I, I write and then when I have the slides I have a print a physical print to take to class because sometimes technology fails and I have I have handwritten notes on those those printouts um, I also take notes when I am reading something whether that is a textbook, whether that is a journal article, whether that's whatever, uh, or sometimes I watch a video, like a professionally watch watch a video on, on, on something, um, depending on what I'm teaching at the time, something about the brain, something statistics, something, whatever, right, whatever comes up. And I, I take notes on that. Um, I take notes in meetings, right? Um, so those are all work-related pen usages, uses utilizations of the pen as it were so to speak um, so th those are things that I I do as well um, and that's what I use my pens for so so far we have grocery lists which are very elevated uh, and and work related use then I think we should not underestimate letter writing letter writing is fun it takes time uh, but it's it's a fun activity. Writing to friends or family or whatever um, is a lot of fun, and that is a great use for your pens. You can you can experiment with ink. You can pick an ink that matches the letter. You can uh, sometimes when when pen users write each other letters, they use multiple pens, multiple inks to to, to show some of the the things they have, um, which I think is a lot of fun too. Uh, so so that is a, a great thing to do. Not only because you get to use your pens, but you get to use them in a social manner, right? You, you, it, it ends up as a sort of an interaction um, with someone else. And I think that is a lot of fun as well. Um, 
because that is actual writing and a even a one page letter I think is not just fun it's a great way to use your pen and I have found that by writing longer text like that if you can call it a text like I don't know what else to, to, to call it um, an epistle uh, but I mean a longer text like that you really get to know the pen too and you get to see how it feels and how it performs sometimes pens are fine for a couple of you know, uh, sections of text but when you get to longer text you see that the pen runs dry because there's an airflow issue an air exchange issue in the feed for example which for the record is not that easy to, to fix on your own but that can happen and you can only find out whether that happens in longer writing a couple sentences at a time won't reveal such an issue so that can be that can be quite helpful uh, to, to, to try out something like that, to, to, to write letters. I'm not saying that the point of writing a letter to your dear friend is to diagnose your pens and their issues, but it's, um, it's a very fun activity. I also find, I, I did an earlier video like this about um, the meditative aspect of writing, and that was really journaling, and a little bit of meditative aspect, but I'll... I'll I'll expand a little bit upon the, the, the meditative aspect here because as I was doing that video I thought it might be better suited here. When you write a letter I find it very soothing because there's a regularity to your writing and that makes for a very meditative experience. So not only are you using your pens, using your inks, maybe experimenting with interesting papers, uh, but you are also doing an activity that requires you to unplug, to use a popular term, to focus on what you are doing. Calm, collected, think about, unless it's an angry letter, um, but think about what you want to write. Be very deliberate in the way you choose your words, and that makes for a very relaxing experience, a very meditative experience, I have found. So, that too is a very nice activity, I think, for multiple reasons. It's not just the use of the pens, it's also the whole soothing activity of the writing itself, which I think is very nice. So that too, I would say, is something to, to consider doing. So we have the grocery list, we have work, and we have letters. Now, one more thing that I will say about writing at work. Some people are nervous about pens getting stolen at work. Well, I suppose that, that may depend a bit on your, your workplace. I, I am careful about not leaving anything out in the open. Um, although I'm not, where I work, I'm not really concerned about theft. But, but anyway, um, once, fun fact, once I had my wallet stolen, not where I work now, it was in the Netherlands, um, but I, I had my wallet stolen, a master key had gone missing. And someone used that to get into my office. A bunch of people had stuff stolen that day. Uh, and my wallet was stolen. And there was a um, Pelican M800 tortoiseshell on the desk. And that was left behind. I guess it, does, it needs a certain level of knowing what a pen is worth to, to go after that. Anyway, if that's a concern for you, well then maybe don't bring your most expensive pens to work, obviously. Um, but... Try it out, see what happens. Because I have found that fountain pens also are a wonderful conversation starter. Whether that is with colleagues or whether that's with, depending on what you do. In my case, it's not, with, not only colleagues, sometimes also students. They say, oh, what, what's that? Some, some people have never seen a fountain pen, which is interesting in some regard. But I mean, with colleagues too, I found that it's a very nice way of, oh, you're using, using a, what's that called again? Fountain pen. Oh yeah, yeah, I haven't seen one though since, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 years. Right. Well, it still exists. You want to try it? You know, it, it, it's, it's, an interesting, um, it's an interesting way to start a conversation and to, um, yeah, just that. Have an interesting discussion with people. So all of these things, I think, are great ways to use your pens, to have fun with them, because in my mind, the worst thing you can do is have, even if it's just one, but have a nice pen or a couple of nice pens 
and then they're on your desk and they're only used for signatures. If that makes you happy, then of course that's great. But for me, that would not be enough. I, I, I have them. I want to enjoy them. I want to use them, right? Hashtag YOLO. Anyway, that matters to me. So that's how I use my pens. And uh, I hope this has been useful. If you have any other questions, things that you would like me to talk about like this, uh, and if I haven't bored you to death with my inane mutterings, ramblings, musings, um, let me know. Leave a, leave a comment below. And of course, leave a comment as to how you use your pens. Because I think it'd be very interesting for people to see that and read about that. So, there we go. Hope this was useful. And uh, glad to see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!